Hey what's up everyone this is Easy Speeds and Feeds. This is the follow up video to the dynamic milling. So we got this thing milled out the inside and outside and the next step is to put the holes in around the part. So we're just going to start adding planes on the faces we want to put the holes on. This is going to be a 3 plus 2 move. Call it 1, 0, 1, meaning op 1, rotation 1. And uh, we'll switch the manual to 0. So each rotation will spit out G54. If all the uh, all the planes in the same op don't have the same manual setting. It'll be G54, 55, 56, and so on. Call that 102. Another one. One zero three, third rotation. A one zero four. So as you can see, we got all of our planes set up, and now we're good to go 3 plus 2 mode on those holes on the outside. So we're just going to helix bore these holes. Start with one. We'll get a tool that works. Go three eighths. Edit the tool. This is important. Always edit your tools. Make sure your speeds and feeds make sense. Five thou rough, five thou finish, two thou step over. I should go pretty quick because these are not very deep. So, our coordinate system is 100, tool plane is 101. Construction comp plane is 101. All that means is we touched off on 100 with the probe, but the kinematics and master cam are telling it that it wants to do those holes and to rotate. Okay. So that looks good. Now we're going to 102 second rotation, copy and paste what we just did, now it didn't work because the planes aren't set up correctly. This needs to be 102 tool plane and 102 comp construction plane. 
perfect. See, we put planes on all the sides of the part so we don't have to probe it every time it rotates. So we just did the same thing. Now, if your machine does not have kinematics, you may have to program off the center of rotation. This is a demo for a machine with kinematics. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we're going to verify. We always verify our work. Make sure there's no surprises when we go to machine it. So, like our video before this, it's dynamicing the outside, now the inside. Turn on compare. Compare helps you see what's machined and what needs to be machined. The blue being out of tolerance, the green being in tolerance. As you can see, the holes are uh, out of tolerance because they're not done yet. And just like that, it's Helix boring all those holes. It's exactly what we want to see. Nice and simple. So it's key here with putting holes on the sides of the part is just getting really familiar with the plane system and the parameters and how to add planes on the sides. Once you master that and you master uh, verify and compare, it, it will become much easier. So if you like this video, subscribe for more. And we'll see you later. Thanks.